What up, Detroit? It's Rob Parker. Coming up on Shop Talk, we debate the new NBA season. Will it be LeBron or D Rose coming out of the East? In Preps Talk, West Bloomfield's back in the football playoffs for the first time in nine years. Plus, Greg will have a movie review on Nightcrawler. Shop Talk starts right now. Some people think the best place to talk about sports <laughs> is on the radio. No way, no how. It's in the barbershop. I should know. I'm a sports analyst. Detroit is a five-point favorite. Devin, save your money, I know. <laughs> and I own a barbershop in Detroit. And the cats in the barbershop, they think they know everything about sports. Get ready for Rob Parker's Shop Talk. Real sports, real talk. This is Shop Talk. Welcome in the Shop Talk on this Saturday. I'm Rob Parker. We kick it off with Getting Rob, where you get my take on the biggest sports stories of the week. We start with the NBA season, which got started this past week. The Pistons lost their first game of the year to the Denver Nuggets, but they're home tonight, 7.30 at the Palace, to take on the Brooklyn Nets for the first game at home of the new season. I have the Pistons making the playoffs, I think, last year. They underachieved and should have made the playoffs. I think they get there this year. All right, admit it. If you were a Tiger fan, you were probably happy that the Kansas City Royals did not win the World Series on Wednesday. They lost in seven games to the San Francisco Giants, who have now won three World Series in the past five years. But I'm sorry. Stop all the dynasty talk. They are not N.O.T. a dynasty. You have to win at least three in a row or three out of four to be a dynasty. They haven't even won back-to-back. -back. I'm not calling the Giants a dynasty, but they're a great team. And finally, we'd like to send out some well wishes to Gordie Howe, of course, Mr. Hockey, who played all those years for the Red Wings, who suffered a stroke this past week and is recovering. His family is encouraged, and hopefully uh, Mr. Hockey will make a recovery. Now it's time for the big debate. It's sponsored by Bob Maxey, the only Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer in downtown Detroit. To reach him, call 313-392-9200 or visit them on the web at bobmaxeyford.com. The NBA season kicked off this past week, and the real buzz about this upcoming season is about who's coming out of the East. Everybody knows the Spurs. They won the championship last year and all that. But is it going to be LeBron James and the new Cleveland Cavaliers or is it Derrick Rose returning back with the Chicago Bulls? d Jack, who you got? You like uh, D-Rose and the Bulls? Absolutely. I think it's D-Rose and the Bulls, and I think so, Rob, because Paul Gasol, I think he's the X factor. He's the biggest free agent acquisition. He gives the Bull a seven-foot power forward who can play, and I don't think Cleveland can match up with that head-to-head. -head. I don't think Kevin Love will be able to check him if they went head-to-head. Think, what about uh, Derrick Rose coming back? You feel confident about where he is? Yeah, Derrick Rose is a star. You know, he's a league MVP at one point. You missed parts of the last two seasons, that's, though, and that's, that's a big thing. That's true, but he looks good right now. He looks healthy. He looks fresh. He has that bounce like, you know, I remember, like we remember. And I'm not sure Chicago is going to be that team, but you know what? I got him close second to uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs? Nobody's going with the Cavs and LeBron and the team he put together? No? Well, Kyrie I, Irving, Kevin Love, LeBron? No? I was going with the Cavs until I saw game one and two. They look like Chicago, like a pickup team where you just go and you get all five pieces and y'all just run the court all day. That's the feel I'm getting from Chicago, man. It just... I, I think with the, the rookie they got this year, and then Derrick Rose coming back, like he said, he got that bounce again. Paul Gasol, I, I'm, I'm going with Chicago. We're going with Chicago. So, Mo, where are you? Are you out I'm not bad into that Derrick Rose, Paul Gasol stuff right here. Uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers have a team that's ready to go right now. With Kyrie Irving, Deion Waiters, LeBron James, Kevin Love. Listen, listen, listen you hear the names I'm saying? Those are star players right there. They're, everybody's healthy. And everybody's ready to go. They're not like Derrick Rose where, oh, if you go too hard, he's going to hurt himself. And you know what? Don't think about that. Oh, yeah. Mo, how many games have those guys played together, Mo? We, we haven't seen them. The Chicago Bulls 
with the nucleus, with Tom Thibodeau, with, with Josh Gish and the guys they have, they played at least two or three hundred games like together. That means they're something. They're professional players. They're professional players are playing basketball, so you better deal together. We're, we're professionals. No, and, and you know what? I, I think, I think, and I hear the Bulls love. I'm, I'm not on that train. I mean, I'm, I, I'm I can't not, be on it. It's not I'm right still going to be. I'm going to be on LeBron's train because I still think he's the best player in the league. And no matter what team he goes to, when you put pieces around, you're still going to have to beat that guy. You know, yeah, ultimately. He makes any team an issue. They don't. They Kentucky don't. And, 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 and they don't. And that's the part that I still can't get by. I'm not saying they're going to win the championship their first year. But, boy, I like the squad they put together. And I think they're going to be formidable. I'm, I'm going to put Derrick Rose to the side. I don't know what kind of play he's going to be long term. Right. He might be bouncing now. But back to back on the road. In the right. first game against the Knicks. He played 21 minutes. You know what I mean? They wrestled. It was right. a blowout, and it was smart. Rest the guy. To be honest with you, it really don't matter, you know, because ain't nobody going to beat the Spurs. That's another debate. Yeah, that's yeah I don't know bad. about that. <laughs> the Spurs, first of all, tough. the Spurs have never won back-to-back, -back, and that old team, the Golden Guys, I've seen that act. I'm not buying it. I'm <laughs> not. Derrick Rose remind me of Sam Bowie, all right? That's what you do. Oh, Bowie, man. Remind me of me a little bit. You know? I'll tell you what. The knees is doing... Well, but you don't know, Mo, and your, your point, he's got injured twice. There's going to be some Third reservation. Time's a charm. Third you know, time's a charm. and you got to see. You're <laughs> not buying it. MVP. I'm not buying it at all. All MVP. those shoe sales, the commercials. I'm not buying all this stuff like that. Jump out the gym. All right, real quick, real quick, give me your NBA Finals matchup. NBA Finals matchup San Antonio Spurs and Chicago Bulls. San Antonio and. Ch no, forgive me. San Antonio and Cleveland Cavaliers. All right. I'm going to say Cleveland Cavaliers and uh, Portland Trailblazers. That's not a bad one. I'm going with Mitch McGarity in OKC in Chicago. OKC even with an injury to start the season to Durant? Definitely. That's going to help Ooh, him. I'm, gonna, I'm always going off the grid. I'm going with the Houston Rockets and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Dwight Howard will win his first NBA championship. <laughs> Check out the Shop Talk Rundown. Here's what's coming up. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. Thomas McGee's is your downtown Detroit football headquarters. Located on Fisher Service Drive in the Eastern Market, they have ESPN game plan showing all college games. Stop in before and after every Lions home game. And Thomas McGee has an NFL ticket. Come through and enjoy. For the best alterations in town, go to Sam's Alterations on Southfield Road in Lathrop Village. 248-552-9950. Sam also has a great selection of men's suits. Sam's the man. If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven mile between Myers and Wyoming and eight mile between Mound and Van Dyke. Now it's time for Homeboy Highlights. This week's homeboy is Detroit Lions kicker Matt Prater. It has been a rough start for Prater, who was one for three in his first game with the Lions, missing from 50 and 44 yards and making a 52-yarder. He banked in a 21-yarder off the left upright October 19th against the Saints and made two short kicks on Sunday against the Falcons before late-game dramatics. Moments before making a 48-yard game winner, Prater missed a 43-yard attempt wide right, which was nullified by a delay of game penalty. Congratulations, Matt. You're this week's homeboy. The Lions have a bye week this week after their trip to London. They finished the first half of the season 6-2 and two after that miracle win in London over the Atlanta Falcons. And now we're at the break. And D Jack, they're six and two. Give me your MVP for the first half of the season. Golden Tate the third, without question. Without him, the Lions are right now maybe four and four, maybe even three and five. He's definitely the biggest offseason acquisition 
the guy's like a poor man, Steve Smith, man. He's tough. He got the little man syndrome. He has great hands. I would even argue his hands is even better than Calvin Johnson. He, he's been great for us, man. It's Golden Tate. Mike, what about you? Where are you? Uh, I was, I'll say Golden Tate, but I take that back. I'm going to say the defensive line. Because without the defensive line, I don't think we'll win nothing. I think we'll be over or something like that. We make that make such a big impact. I think it make a a, 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 a major impact. Rob, Rob and Mike, do you think it's more so the defensive coordinator or the defensive line? You know, it's the same line we had last year. They yes, just sir. they just changed the scheme with the defensive coordinator. So exactly. let's get to real awesome. Exactly. Credit. Let me say something. I'm gonna say the defense as a whole, period. Because yes, the defensive line is getting pressure, but the guys. Uh, Levy is probably one of the best linebackers in the league right now. We got the he young, makes plays. You got the young guy Slade that has come on huge. We got the other uh, Mathis. We got the other veterans back there. I think the defense as a whole, I would have to give them the even. What league. about you, Mo? Where are I'm you? Say the defense is clutch. Okay, Matthew Stafford is clutch, but GT3 is the MVP of the Lions right now in the second half. He's clutch. He's better than Calvin Johnson. I have to say that right now. Let's say it again. He's better than Calvin Johnson. The only thing I'm gonna say. The only thing I'm gonna say is, is I think sometimes you know. Winning covers up everything. And I hear what you guys are saying, but you got to be honest when you talk about even the defense against uh, New Orleans, uh, Drew Brees threw the ball all over the field, and if it, it wasn't for that miracle comeback, nobody would be saying that. Mm -hmm. Even Atlanta, as pitiful as they've been, came out and scored three touchdowns mm -hmm. very easily on that defense. In the first half. Right, in, in the, the first, first half. half. And I give you, the, they played better in the second mm -hmm. half. But they they were able to move the ball and do what they wanted to do at when will. they were when they weren't able to do that at, at will. will. Okay, and 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 I look at the Lions as they should be four and four, and luck has played a big part. Not to take away or discount or poo poo winning, because I believe you win, period, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. But I still think that team is Even flawed. Is and as we move to the second half, I think you're going to see diff a different Rob, outcome. Can mm -hmm. I can I add to my answer too? Then with that being said, I'm 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 still going to go and take the third. But I'm also got to give Terrell Austin, the defensive coordinator, who teams are now buzzing about, talking about he may win a system of the year. Right. You know the Lions are the only team in football to not allow 16 points a game. That's what's they, they, I mean, his defensive scheme is 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 mind-boggling. With the same players from last year, they're number one in the league. And I think what do you I mean think 16 points? They they are the only team in the NFL that do, do not allow 16 points a game. They're you mean average? Average. Yeah, average. They're, they're only oh, allowing okay. 15 points. Because I'm saying points. they get about 21 do, to Atlanta. Do you know, so you know, do you know, do you know Rob, really average. do you know because of their scheme, they're the only team in the NFL who isn't average, allowing 300 yards passing per game. They only mm -hmm. they only allow 209 yards with that beat-up secondary. Mm -hmm. So I think let's give some credit to the defense coordinator. Well, I'm yeah. just saying, up secondary but I'm saying, and, if you don't win those two games, I don't think your perspective would be the same. That's, That's all true. I'm saying. Because winning cover, when you win, you just forget about some other stuff the flaws, and some of the mistakes. Like we're, we're missing one of our huge linebackers, Jarrell, as in, in, in Tulloch. So, yes, like you said, beat up backfield. Why he we, we, we got Tullick? some beat up players on the defense, period. There's so, no doubt about it. Do, what class. they're doing is huge. Okay, so, so they're 6-2, so they're and two, Mo. Give me, give me a record for the final eight games. Last year, as we know, in the okay. final uh, wow. seven games, right, they went 1-6. In the final seven, after starting out six and three, and they finished seven and nine. Where are 12 you? Twelve and four. So, so you got them at at six and two. No, so, yeah. Well, right. Yeah. So, I'm talking about the second half. Oh, okay, Mike, yeah, where are you? Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I say we got eight lanes left. We. So you got four and four. All right, that's a ten win season, right? I got I got ten and six, and and, and only thing you know, I got to tell you why. Like I say all the time when we talk, it's number nine, man. A lot of these games wouldn't even be close if it was number nine played better. Only because they have number nine, ten and six, if they had a better quarterback. Chow, where are you? Good point, Jack. Um, you know, we got a friendly bet at eight and eight. Uh, I'm gonna go a little higher than that, ten and six. Ten and six, okay. I, I originally picked uh five and eleven. Obviously they already have six wins. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure that out a little bit. But I, I I'm gonna go with um you might win the bet because I'm going to have to probably go <laughs> yeah, at, yeah. at 8 and 8 because I think they'll go 2 and 6 down the stretch. So here we go. Second half of the season comes up next week. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. For the best sports coverage on the web, go to theshadowleague.com. Coverage with a cultural perspective. Check it out. Thomas McGee's is your downtown Detroit football headquarters. 
Located on Fisher Service Drive in the Eastern Market, they have ESPN game plan showing all college games. Stop in before and after every Lions home game. And Thomas McGee has an NFL ticket. Come through and enjoy. If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven mile between Myers and Wyoming and eight mile between Mound and Van Dyke. You want flavor? Come to City Wings, 2896 West Grand Boulevard. Call ahead or order online, 313-871-2489 or go to citywingsinc.com. Now it's time for Trash Talking Twitter. At Bill Show 313, who would you rather have, Matt Stafford or Tony Romo? If you want to trash anyone or anything in sports, hit us up on our Twitter. When you're told to do something by your mom and dad, don't frown your face or get mad. Time to change gears. Here's hip hop news. What's up, everyone? This is your girl, L. Beasley, and here's the latest in hip hop news. Nicki Minaj calls in the big guns for her new only single. According to recently released cover art via her Instagram page, Nicki has called on a couple of her label partners and singer Chris Brown to accompany her for the single called Only. Drake and Lil Wayne have both contributed to the song, which was released this week. All artists featured on Only also made Nicki Minaj's last album, Roman Reloaded. The new song announcement also puts to rest rumors that Drake would not appear on Nicki's third album, which is slated for release on November 24th. In other news, Drake throws thousands of dollars in cash at a nightclub bouncer before he storms past him into the club. Drake celebrated his birthday over the weekend and blew a lot of cash, but not in the way one would imagine. According to video obtained by TMZ, Drake is seen briskly walking up the nightclub after he reportedly left, threw money at a member of the club's security, and stormed past them. Multiple bouncers then went after Drake. There's no word yet on why Drake made the decision he made. TMZ also reported that someone may have punched a member of Drake's entourage inside of the club, which may have triggered his anger. The incident comes only hours after the rapper released three new songs via his website. And finally, Fox is currently developing a half-hour television program based on Will Smith's 2005 movie, Hitch, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The network has granted the comedy a script commitment, and Will Smith, his longtime business partner James Lasseter, wife Jada Pinkett Smith, and her brother Caleb Pinkett are all set to serve as executive producers. Smith and Lasseter's Overbook Entertainment and Sony Pictures Television will produce the show. All right, that's the news. I'm your girl, L. Beasley. See you next week. It's Shop Talk's Cut of the Week. What up, though, Detroit? I'm Cal Carter. This is my man, this is my man Carl K.O. Cummins, longtime friend. And today he's rocking the all natural, crispy line. A little celebrity for y'all. Make that line up pop. Red carpet treatment. Crispy like new money, fresh out the bank. If you need to see me, I'm Cal Carter once again. West 7 Mile, 13011. Call the shop, 345-4028. Now it's time for Preps Talk. Michigan High School football playoffs kicks off this week, but for one team in particular, this is a special opportunity. The West Bloomfield Lakers haven't had a playoff berth since 2008, but this week they'll face the same team that ended their playoff dreams six years ago. Take a look. So team is 8-1, but you guys have had three defensive shutouts this season. Talk about what role that's played in the, in the success you guys have had this season. Yeah, but, uh, we've had uh, three defensive shutouts this season. You know, try to play lights out defense. Um, we take the motto, uh, defense wins championship, so we uh, play as hard as we can. Um, if they don't score and we score. I understand that we haven't been here in six years, but that just pushes us to be more hungry for this for this win, for this W. I mean, we practice out here practicing hard, putting in the work, watching film, going over our keys, studying everything. We should be good on Friday night. Well, from a defense standpoint, all we have to do is just do what we've done all, all this year. Nothing new, shut teams out. 
ball out and play hard. We're having a lot of success this year because of the brotherhood. The one of the things that I, that I enjoy most about coaching these boys is that they love each other. They take care of each other, and you see it. It's, it's you know, making plays is contagious. You see one guy make a play, you see the next guy, and they all cheer for each other. And, you know, you don't have that on some teams, and we have it here, and I'm, I'm fortunate to have a, a group that's so tight. The excitement is high right now. Uh, coming from a team that was 2-7 and seven, and a, a team that, that missed playoffs just by a couple points shy, I mean, our our excitement is through the roof right now. We 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 are so happy to play a uh, playoff game. Go out there, we just we just can't wait. In the end, football excitement has been restored amongst the West Bloomfield community, and everyone is looking forward to see if it can be sustained for the long haul. Thomas McGee's is your downtown Detroit football headquarters. Located on Fisher Service Drive in the Eastern Market, they have ESPN game plan showing all college games. Stop in before and after every Lions home game. And Thomas McGee has an NFL ticket. Come through and enjoy. For the best alterations in town, go to Sam's Alterations on Southfield Road in Lathrop Village. 248-552-9950. Sam also has a great selection of men's suits. Sam's the man. If you need work done on your car, truck, or van, take them to the pros at Expert Car Care. They offer free inspections and guarantee the lowest prices in town. Expert Car Care has two locations, seven mile between Myers and Wyoming and eight mile between Mound and Van Dyke. Now it's time for At The Movies with Greg. What about you? I mean, did you go out and just saying like with any stringers just to see how they did their stuff? Yeah, I um, went a number of nights with um, stringers in, in L.A., these two brothers who, okay. who are stringers throughout mm -hmm. the Southland, throughout okay. the area. And, and, um, and I also had spent, you know, five months on this movie End of Watch that yeah. I did. And I was mm -hmm. with the cops almost every night there and... In, in Southeast LA, and there, you know, probably every five or six, you know, scenarios we'd find ourselves right. in, there'd be a stringer there. Okay. Um, so, in, you know, I never knew that if, what the future held, that I was going <laughs> to end up playing one of those guys on the opposite side, but, right. um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty used to being around that at the, those sites and, you know, accidents or a crime scene or something mm -hmm. because of that experience. Okay. Some of the other guys were talking, yeah, that they worked with people who were just like Jake's character. And some even, they said even weirder. Really? Yeah. No, 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 no. I do have a story. This is interesting. They w did work with a stringer. Yeah. And um, uh, the, he happened to be driving down the freeway, and there was a car that was stalled. And instead of calling someone or helping the person, he just sat back. Oh, jeez. And he waited for a car to crash into the back of it. And he had no problem with it. He said, look, all I do is take the photos. Well, pleasure seeing nice you. Nice to see Always you, great. too. <laughs> it's nice to see you, too. Good! Uh -huh. I think Lou is inspiring all of us to reach a little higher. <laughs> Here's the Instagram shop of the day. Check out Uppercuts Barbershop located at 15731 West Warren in Detroit. Or give them a call at 313-581-3965. If you want your shop featured, hit us up on our Instagram account, Shop Talk TV. Now it's time for the debate challenge. This week we welcome in D Jack, and we're talking college football, the new college football playoff system, and the rankings came out this past week. You know, you got Mississippi State, Florida, Auburn, and Ole Miss were the top four teams. 
Michigan State was at number eight. Notre Dame was at number 10. And DJAC, you got a problem with it? I got a huge problem with it, Rob. I want to know, how does Condoleezza Rice get a vote on this committee to, to decide who plays for the national championship, Rob? Come on, man. How, how does a politician get a vote on this? That's She's a big one. sports fan. She has a broad base. She was actually one of the first female members uh, at Augusta. <laughs> I mean, on, she's a big Rob. sports person. Rob, to be perfectly honest, man, I would have felt better if they put you on there, <laughs> man. You've been in the media for 30 years. You know college football. That's number one, Rob. Number two, I really don't think it's fair. There are other one-loss teams, Rob, like Michigan State and other teams who deserve a chance. So how do they not get a vote, Rob? But wait a minute. Michigan State played in one big game against Oregon, got blew out on the road, right? And, yeah. they, and they're playing in the Big Ten, which is crappy this year. you got to admit that. And number two, all these college football fans were complaining about not having the playoffs, and now you got one, and you're still not happy. Yeah, Rob, because it's not fair, man. I just want to know, what about the other four or five teams, Rob? I just really think that maybe it should go to maybe four, four, four to eight teams instead of just four. That, Here that's we go. Argument. Now you'll want 16 teams like the NBA. <laughs> you'll never get there. At some point, you just got to say, they're going to be good teams that are left out of the mix when you're only talking about four. I like this better than the voting system and what went on before, and I'd rather have a playoff and let somebody actually play to win the championship rather than people voting on it and saying you're the ch mythical champion. I agree. I, I can't. I can't defeat that argument. I, I agree with you on that, Rob. I just may, maybe my biggest issue is kind of Lisa Wright sits on. So all I can say, D Jack, is you take the L this Saturday. <laughs> Got you, Rob. Now it's time for a segment we call "What You Sporting." What You Sporting is sponsored by Bob's Classic Kicks on Woodward in Detroit. Let's welcome in JB from the East Side. What's up, JB? What's up, Rob? You all right? right, doing all right? All right, what you sporting today? Today I'm rocking the infrared sixes. Jordans, you only bring these out for a special occasion. Those are pretty sweet. All right, not as sweet as these, though. These are the uh, Adidas Top 10, the Motherland Edition. You see that red, black, and green? They don't get sweeter than that. Put yours up here. Hey, don't step on my shoe now. What's up with that? <laughs> Come on. Now, yours are nice. I I'll admit that. But these are unique, special. Look at that, the little patent leather red on that, the suede green. JB, yours are sweet, but mine are sweeter. Take your foot down. <laughs> I am the winner. All right, that's Shop Talk for this week. Don't forget, Lions, of course, have a bye. But there's Peyton Manning against Tom Brady on Sunday. Enjoy the game. If you want to advertise on Shop Talk, call us at 586-431-0804.